murals, they make a community better. They up the value of, the, of where you live. You know, when I was a kid in Boston, there were certain little murals I would see and I'd always remember them. They were like really important little pieces of work to me. I don't know if that's the same with, with everyone else, but you know, if it is helping them or helping clean up the neighborhood a little bit or make it look inviting, then why wouldn't you do that? It's a lot of math, it's a lot of scaling. It takes a lot of patience and a lot of time. And you know, the, the weather in Florida is not always comparable, especially in the summertime when it's, you're melting and then it's raining and you're setting up scaffolding, you're putting it away. You really have to enjoy it. But it's all about the end. It's all about when it's finished. I mean, when it, once it's done, you forget about all that stuff. And you know, if, if, if you stifle yourself with just keeping it in your house and not sharing it with people, it's what, what's the point of doing it? It's almost like when you're a kid and you, when you're, when you're a child and you're doodling. I just never stopped doodling. I just kept doodling and doodling and growing it and doing it and, you know, figuring out if you could do that on your downtime, what it would be like if you could do that all the time for a living. And that's all I want to do. I mean, it's just taking whatever your hobby is and then, you know, what, what they say, whatever you, whatever you do on your downtime is what you should do full time. And that's exactly what it is. I mean, even when I'm not working, I'm working. Like, it's a Sunday, I'm having coffee, I'm drawing, I'm doing something for me, or I'm drawing a, a card for someone, or making a shirt for somebody. Like, it's just, it's just this constant, it's, it's, it makes me alive, it keeps me grounded. And when I see a wall, and someone gives me an opportunity, I look at it as like a, like, just go for it. Like, you know, let me do something to it. Let me dress it up. Let's make this a better place. I mean, in this area, this is the Ivan, Ivanhoe Village. And from here, you can see murals everywhere from the Hideaway Bar to uh, Sam Flax, Edu's Hair Salon. I mean, they're all kind of in this general neighborhood. You know, when people come in to this neighborhood, they know that there's something brewing here, which is exciting. It's, it's changed the neighborhood. It makes it a little bit more lively. You know, it just makes the place look better, I think. This is the Wings to Walls project I did with Red Bull uh, beginning of January 2014. And what's going to happen is they actually um, are sponsoring this wall to change every four months this year. So I'm going to come back and redo this with a different theme and then back again uh, mid-fall to change it, which is kind of sad because, you know, you put so much work into it. I wish it had a longer lifespan. You're, you're only as good as the last one that you did. You know, I don't think that there's a peak. It's not like a, something you can just retire at. I think as a, as a visual artist, you can just keep growing and, 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 and pushing yourself harder. It's always about looking forward, not, not so much about looking behind what you already did. Mm -hmm.